Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very, very exciting video for you. It is a little bit of a different video. It's a box opening video, but of a different type. It's going to be like a blanket reveal box opening slash box opening because yesterday I picked up this gorgeous new baby just in my collection um, to add to my collection, sorry. Uh, at the doll show yesterday and obviously you know they don't come in boxes when they don't get sent to you so I'm doing a blanket reveal today so if you're interested in seeing who my new baby is in the nursery stay tuned so um, I've decided that I've put him under the blanket and I'm just going to pull the blanket up a little bit by bit to show you um, who it is and I'd love to see if you can guess who it is so first we've got some little toes here and um, these little booties came as an in a little bag as an extra. I put them put them on straight away because they're baby patch. So I'll take them off so you can see his um, sculpt. But these are the cute little baby patch booties that um, I got with him as a little extra pack with the outfit he was wearing. So these are the little toes. Painting is absolutely stunning. Very beautiful, as I always like them. So we're going to go up a little bit higher and we're going to get one little handout. And let's get this handout first. So there's a little hand poking out there. Little fist. So now we're going to go to the other one and we have a, another little fist. There's a hint right there. Did anyone guess who this might be? The little bent up legs, cutesy, cutesy little toes and the two little clenched fists. For those people that know this sculpt, they will have some clue. So we're going to do the final reveal. And it is Chase. Chase is my newest addition to my nursery. Sorry about the lighting again. It's overcast day. There he is. Looking so adorable. So Tiffany from Coco's Nursery made him. And she was at the show yesterday. And um, she had a couple of chases. So this is his gorgeous painted hair, as you can see. Just put at the top. And uh, the sides, Let's see if I can show you a bit better. Here you go. Look at that painted hair. That is so stunning. And uh, he is just adorable. Look at his face. Look at her, the way she paints. It's just like yesterday when I was getting him home from the doll show, the veining that was in here, like just so deep, like it's it's so deep, deep down. It's only in certain lightings that you can see it a little bit more obvious than than um, other times. But it's just the realism and the lips. I love the lips, how it's got the darker on the outside and then the lighter on the inside. I love how artists do that. And also I love his nose. Love how his nose is just like that paler colour as some babies' noses are. And uh, his blushing on his legs is beautiful. Now you can see in slightly better lighting. It's so cute. And his little toes. And I'll show you the, his feet. Look at those. They're so adorable. It's his other little leg. His other little foot. There's his foot. So um, when Tiffany, uh, when I was talking to Tiffany, because Tiffany's um, one of my friends now in the Reborn community, um, she used to be like, she found me through my YouTube channel and she's watching all my videos. Um, and then one day we caught up at the Gold Coast Doll Show and we've been friends ever since. And luckily for me, she started to Reborn and this is obviously you know, the quality of someone who's only been reborn in for a few years is absolutely stunning and top quality. And um, so when uh, the, this doll show was coming up, 
I said to her that I was, I'm after a chase and is she making any chases for the doll show? And she said, yes, she's going to make a couple. And um, what she normally likes to do, I think, is when she's got a couple of the same sculpt, she likes to make one with painted hair and one with um, rooted hair so that, you know, it shows off both of her skills um, as what her husband does do the rooting, but uh, shows off both of the babies she produces. And so I said to her, well, I'm really interested in a painted hair baby. So she said, okay, well, I'll make one painted and one rooted and you can see which one, you know, you like, if any of them you like. And so she sent me some progress pictures of this little guy, but um, she was making him a little bit um, like the peaches newborn, like the pinky newborn um, colouring, where I definitely like the more yellow olive skin. So I just mentioned to her, because it was right at the beginning stages, that I am after a more olive baby, and she did say the lighting was a little bit, you know, not true to colour. So when I showed her a couple of her other babies that she'd made in the past that I really like that skin colouring. I said, look, these are the skin colourings that I particularly like. And she said, okay, not a problem. I'll definitely um, make him a bit more like that. And then um, I've just loved her hair painting. So I just said, you know, if you could make it similar to how you always paint your hair um, with that light, lighter. I don't like the really dark colours, but I like this lighter colour. And she said, yep, that's fine. She's going to do that. And then... Um, when I saw him finished, I fell in love with him and said, yes, I'll definitely, definitely get him and I'll pick him up at the doll show. So um, I'll just show you, obviously, some of the things I got. So in the little bag she gave me um, is these little baby pumpkin patch booties, which are so adorable on him. And he came wearing this beautiful Spanish knitted um, top that actually had this really cute um a button on bib it was so adorable and it's like so dainty um I did take it off him because I thought it was getting a little bit in the way of cuddles and stuff like that but it was really cute how that, that can you know you can add that on with the little buttons on the shoulders or you can take it off so that was just so sweet and also um she gave me this teddy bear that I absolutely oh here he goes he's so cute I love him so much and he's been having lots of cuddles with his little new teddy. I just love little cuddlies with my dolls. And she also gave me this gorgeous blanket that he's laying on. I really love this one because it's good for both sexes as well, um, as well as it's quite boyish, I think, with the yellow on there. And she also, he came with this really cute little honey bug pacifier, the ones that there's no magnet there. So I'll show you what it looks like on his face. So there it is. So, so cute. I'm so in love with him. Tiffany, thank you so much for making him for me. I'm just so, so happy. And um, also this this knit came with the pants, the Spanish knit pants and a little hat, which I've left in the car from the doll show. I haven't bought it in yet because I had so many bits and pieces. And she also included this really beautiful H&M little teddy bear um, sweater. So cute and it's so soft. I just love it. I can't wait to put it on him. I haven't put it on him yet. So this one was the H&M Organic Range. And she sent me some pictures of him wearing this and his little, um, these, and they're so cute with the teddy bear on the faces. So I love that so much and I love him so much and also um, thought as a little prop I'll add his little, um, this little Tommy Tippy one that I had that came sealed that I bought at the doll show yesterday. So I just thought I'd put that there as an extra little prop. So there he is. I'm one proud little mama at the moment. He is just so adorable. Um, I am just so in love with him, as you can imagine. He's bringing me so much joy already, and I'm sure he will for a long, long time to come. Look at him. He's just so adorable. I just love his colouring so much, and I love his hair so much. And he's being weighted beautifully. She did weigh him a little bit, um, a little bit, the sun's come out, thank God, 
Uh, she did weigh him a little bit heavier than my Levi, but he is a slightly bigger baby than Levi, just slightly. So she decided to um, give him a little bit more weight. Might be able to see his feet a little bit better now that the light, the light is out. The sun is out. Yay. A little bit hard before. So, yeah, I just he's just so beautifully done. I'm really, really, ha really happy with him. So he is, there's, with the chase, there was the first edition. And um, then there was, which was limited, and then the second one was open, second edition. And I thought he was a second edition, but when I got there yesterday, she gave me his little um, folder with all his, you know, bits and bobs in here, documentation. So I was really shocked when she told me, or surprised more than anything, that he um, is a first edition. So he's a, one of the numbered ones, which was amazing. And her other one that she still got that she made if you want to see the other one um that she made you'll see them on my doll show video i um did a video of the doll show yesterday so they had they were both laying together and her stand um i did have a question on my doll show videos why did the artist have um a baby that babies that are sold on her display and um the reason is she likes to showcase her work. So even though this doll was pre, you know, purchased prior to the show, she she and her, uh, Tiffany as well as myself, we wanted to leave him on the stand for as long as possible just so that people can see what her work looks like um, and so that those people who might be interested in getting custom or whatever or maybe one in the future will know, you know, what her what her work will look like when it's finished and what the different choices are. So this one was really olive, where the other one was really pale and pink and newbornish. So having them side by side like that really gave the person, which was amazing, seeing them side by side, you can say which one is that, do you prefer that colouring and do you prefer that colouring? So to have them laid out right in front of you, and seeing the different styles of um, painting and colouring, you can decide what suits you the best. What do you prefer? Do you know what I mean? So I think that's absolutely amazing to be able to have the doll show, to have that ability to see the different types and choose what you prefer the better because that in our hobby is so hard to do. So this is the amazing lady, um, Tiffany, and her husband also helps with the rooting and the weighing and that sort of thing. Coco's Nursery by Tiffany, and she's got her husband's name there as well, which is great. I see that. And there's her contact information. Hopefully you can see that. If it's not focusing, um, you can contact me and I can give you some more information on her. So this is the birth certificate. It says Chase by Bonnie Brown. It was born September the 28th of this year. Five pounds four ounces and sixty-four five out five pounds four ounces point six ounce. Oh, sorry, I didn't say that right. <laughs> and height is twenty is it twenty-one inches? Yeah, twenty-one. Her one's got a little bit of a, a little lip on it. And Tiffany Acosta is the artist. And then she told me these are just new. So Coco's Nursery. She's uh, These are a few of her babies she's already made. These are just new, she said. And then I have the care instructions, which there's her care instructions that she, she um, gives you. And last but not least is his COA. So it comes in a little sheet like that it's getting really washed out at the moment the lighting the sun's really out I might see if I can make that a little bit darker yeah it's well, probably a bit too dark but anyway so this is his COA the Bonnie Brown Chase certificate of authenticity and this is first edition bonniebrowndolls.com how gorgeous is the prototype and then I noticed last night, I was so excited, 
that Bonnie Brown has actually signed that by in pen because I was looking in the light, you know, when someone signs something, you can see the pen glowing, shining. So, and she's numbered it by hand. Here's 148 out of 1,500 and she signed it and it's just got his, um, you know, saying a little bit about him. So that is... The stunning baby that I have got to add to my collection now so yet again thank you so much Tiffany for making him for me well uh, giving me another baby in my collection so I've got two now I've got a Levi and a Chase so I hope you all enjoyed seeing him this unusual box opening blank blank blanket reveal for my new, newest baby in my nursery Chase by Bonnie Brown Artist is Tiffany by Coco's Nursery. So thanks for watching. Give this a video a thumbs up if you love him. And uh, until next time, see you later.